guys and welcome back to Enigma 77 review. So today it's going to be a bit of an alternative mix with beauty. It's just two items that I've picked up and I thought I might as well just combine them together rather than doing them both in an individual video. One item from Killstar and I only grabbed it because it was on sale. I had some points to use. I'm kind of stepping back from Killstar now. Um, I've actually got a few things that I want to get from Restyle for my competition. So I thought I might as well use my points up, seeing I'm not going to be buying a lot from Killstar. So there's one item here, which is quite a heavy item to say the least. And the other item I've got, which has got my address on, is a revolution. So two small little items. So this is why I thought I would do both together. So guys, let's just crack open the revolution one. I haven't bought from Revolution for quite a long time, guys. And I think the reason it's been is, obviously I got introduced to Beauty Bear and I, I was buying things from Beauty Bear. Um, and then I've, obviously I've been getting like my Jeffree Stars and stuff. So I kind of neglected um, Revolution a little bit. I still absolutely love Revolution. I still have my Revolution makeup and I still will buy from Revolution no matter what. I think I'm, I'm pulling back on how many palettes to buy now because I do have an, a lot of palettes. But the way I look today, um, I've got a Jeffree Stars, I've got two palettes in the colours that I really like. I would love him to do a gothic palette. I probably would buy a gothic palette of his and that's probably where I'd be at my limit. But I got these today and it says quality, affordable, cruelty free, beauty for everyone, you are the revolution. These are recyclable boxes. I can remember the boxes I had before because I think I still have a few of their boxes. But this is great because I can just throw this in the bin. It's far easier messing around. I suppose the difference with this is packaging's less. You don't get a lot of packaging. I know that a few people have had issues with their packaging being broke. I hope that's not the problem today. So guys, here's my little booklet, which I haven't had for ages. It says, you are the revolution, Rachel. Open me for exclusive offers. So we'll go through all that in a minute. First things first, because it is a small package, it's just wrapped like this. This is obviously, I'm going to go straight into my recycling bin. I like this packaging, um, so I keep this for whenever I'm se sending anything, friend mail and stuff, or to my mom in Ireland. So yeah, guys, I've only grabbed four things, four affordable things. Um, because I'm on a tight budget now, obviously I can't afford to be buying the massive amount of makeup I was buying before, because let's face it, I don't need it. I've still got lots of makeup from 2019. I've not even opened. Never mind, tried. What did I get? I got four items. First item I'm coming to is this one, and it's a Revolution Pro Supreme Dip Liner in white. I've never actually had a white eyeliner, but I thought, I'm not going to open In fact, yeah, I will open it. Um, I just thought these will go nice with certain looks that I do. Maybe just something different, because I've never tried white eyeliner in general i don't know how my skin or how my face will look with it i don't know if i suit it or not but it was only it was only reasonable this i don't know if it says the price in there but it is literally just a white i work really well with this kind of eyeliners because i've been doing it for so long this is the kind of eyeliner i used to buy when i was like 15 16 so i do still work well with these even though i do use the felt tip pen now i still can use these quite easily and more steadily with my hands so i grabbed that one guys and then i also grabbed a white um eye pencil and it's one of them screw tops you know like the how can i describe it like the crayon style ones which is like this one here it's like that one but in white now this is obviously for the under eye and this is for above on your lid so i grabbed them too and i thought well i've not got white so i've got white now and then I think it was my friend Suzanne I'd put on that she'd got the new Revolution eyeliner. I know I didn't ask her which eyeliner she meant, but I know that I've got all the Revolution black eyeliners. And the only one I've I've happened to love the most is the Renaissance one. But I'm even struggling with that at the minute, guys. My tick's very, very small today because for some reason this eye is stinging the minute I put this black eyeliner on. So I'm trying to give my eyes a little bit of a rest. So I grabbed this one, guys. Now, this was £4.99. Now, this was all affordable. I think them two were something like £3 and £2 each, something like that. Let's have a look. So, I seen this and I thought, oh, I don't think I've got that one. 
So it looks like this in the black casing with gold trim around it. Oh, oh, wow, that is, um, what the hell? So guys, look at that, it's like um, it's like an ink cartridge pen. That is really peculiar. Um, I don't actually know how that will work. I think, because it's at a point there, you would actually stay at your thickest point all the way around and then you thick to a point at the end. I kind of think that I'll work well with that, but does it push up or anything or is that it? Is that all you've got? Because your eye will start to stick on that nib bit there. Oh, I'm a bit curious about that. If anybody knows if that roll, I mean, there's nothing to, to twist it up or anything. Am I doing something wrong? But that was that guys, 4 99 If it's not good, I'll come back and let you know. Um, it just says flexible ultra black precision tip in black. And it doesn't say anything else on there. I'll keep it in the box for now because I'll probably use my other ones up before I dig into that one, unless I really need to. And then my most pricey item was this one. Yes, I had to get it. Now, originally I wanted the Obsession, the Makeup Obsession one, because they've got one as well and I like the look of those. And they've actually got a red one as well, which I've got my eyes on. But I thought I don't need two green palettes. So which one do I get? So I ended up getting the tin one because I do have tin ones in here already i've had three i've gave one away because i never use it it's not my shade so i've got three again so i did have four now i've got three i've actually got a little diagram of what it looks like on there um you can keep it in this packaging by all means i don't know if i'll bother but so this is it's called the chilled with cannabis sativa sativa is it sativa or sativa sativa shadow palette now I've seen the lovely Stephanie Toms do um, the swatching and a makeup look with this. And that is what initially wanted to like, draw me in. And I just thought, as you know, I'm going through a whole green thing at the minute. And although I've got the green Wish Me Look, which is from Colourpop. Was it Wish Me Look? Oh, Just My Look. I absolutely love this palette. And I mean, love it. I cannot stress how good Colourpop is. But I thought, let's try Revolution because I do like Revolution's formula. It's a little bit powdery, you can get a lot of fallout from it. But like I said, if you tap out your brush, usually you're not too bad. I use tape as well, guys, so anything falls on there. So let's have a look. You've probably already seen this before because it's not new, guys. It's been out quite a while. Why didn't I jump on it before? I don't think I was going through that green phase when this came out. Um, I, don't get me wrong, I thought it was really pleasing looking palette but I thought well I don't really wear green now I'm starting on green jewelry and everything it's it's crazy green lipstick so the tin is really really nice um lots of weed leaves on there I mean I know what a weed leaf looks like I should do I had a lot of friends that um like weed <laughs> so <laughs> I like the color contrast on this it's quite nice I like it it's very pretty and it's called chilled so there is let me have a look can't see anything my glasses do you know what? i'm glad we're opticians again i'm gonna have to tell them i'm struggling so there's 18 pounds in this guys obviously it'll be a mix of shimmer and mattes but let's have a look <gasps> oh how pretty now there is a massive mirror as always with revolution there's always a nice big mirror let me just there we go guys yes i love every color player on this palette I really do. The fact that it's got browns in here as well is a bonus for me because I do like brown eyeshadows as well as like golds and silvers. I love this one here. And this one's quite bright. Right, the covers come off. There we go. Shall we swatch it, guys? I think so. I think so. I do like this green. I do like this green. Now, guys, while we're on the green thing, I have to... So my green fatty face thing has become more of an obsession. Um, I don't know why or where it's come from. I really don't know, but it seems it's here to stay. Now my first green started when I first seen the Grimoire palette, which was from VE Cosmetics. It's a bit grubby because this kind of packaging does get dirty and one of my pans kind of um, spread across and I've tried cleaning it. Not, not the good thing to do, but you can see the green colour player that's in this palette, but a lot of blacks as well, which I do absolutely love. I love this palette. 
I really do. I will be buying from VE Cosmetics again in the near future, probably after my competition now. I really don't want to be buying any more stuff while it's a competition because I've got a lot to pay for for that. Now, the green in the colour pop, again, very similar tones to the Revolution, if you look at it that way. There is some shades that are similar. Yeah, very, very similar. I'd say the, um, the plant's colour is very similar to the natural colour. And then the natural is very similar to the, um, I can't read it. Oh, my eyes are terrible. It's so small print. At natural, where is it? Uh, Mabamba or something. So, yeah, and then if you look at the, the Mary Jane, obviously that's a colour in itself because I can't see any that match that. But they are similar but slightly different. I just love... I just love green at the minute. I love the green and black contrast as well. Um, I will be creating a look, guys. I keep saying it with all my palettes, but I will be creating a look with this palette at some point. Right, let's get swatching. So I'll only swatch a few of the colours, guys. I won't do all of them. Um, I've not got a lot of room left for this swatching malarkey. I don't know where I'm going to go eventually. So I'm going to go in with green leaf, which is this one here. Oh, that's quite nice. Um, feels quite smooth but a little bit can you see the fallout from there guys a little bit of fallout so let me just put that here and then i'm going to go in with natural which is on the dark side again oh that's nice as well can you see these shades now i'm going to go in with plant which is very very similar color play to that now that one seems a lot powdery let me have a look Oh, that is very, very powdery, but if you tap it out, it's not too bad. Right, I know I'm getting messy fingers here. Let's try this brown, which is Burn. Yes, that's a nice brown, actually. That's quite a nice brown. Um, I don't think I'll go in anymore, guys, so I don't want to start dipping my fingers in the shimmers. You've kind of seen this before, but just them shades in itself, I try and like to keep my pans like immaculate. Like, Rachel, you've got to use them. They're not a toy. You can't just keep them there forever. Um, but yeah, I will create a look with this, guys. This was £10. I did get it from Revolution directly. I tried getting it from Beauty Bay at first, but it was sold out. Um, and I thought, I can't be bothered waiting on Beauty Bay. So then I thought, maybe I'll try... Um... So they're the colours, guys. So you can see really, really nice green tones there. I'm just going to take it off. Just because it gets all over my clothes otherwise. Um, yeah, really nice um, colour play there. I, I tried again to get it on Superdrug. I had it in Superdrug. But it was a collect on there. And I don't really want to be going out just yet. So that is my revolution, guys. In this booklet, it tells you... Um, just tells you what's coming out. So you've got your look library. Um, I'm not right bothered about getting any of them ones, guys. Probably too many, too many colours that I wouldn't use. Uh, kind of wasted and that is it and then it says um get a free palette with your next order did something say freebie get a free eyeshadow palette with your next order use code free palette 15 how good is that guys so that's that code if you want to use it use code i probably will get the red obsession palette um I'll, i'm gonna grab that anyway which is 10 pound and see if i get a free palette with it and see what i get if it's one that i've already got or i don't want i'll put it in a giveaway all right guys moving on swiftly to killstar um yeah one item this item's quite um heavy to say the least with this is going to be a try on but i will do my try on later because i do have people here at the minute so it has the price on here which I'm happy about. And this is the Casey Bodycon dress in tartan purple. It is extremely heavy, guys, for a dress. I'll say that much. But it's in your Killstar bag. And as you know, I love purple. All purple. Now, I was thinking of, of any new clothes that I'm getting now, either from um, Kate's Clothing, um, Killstar, the Gothic Shop, anything like that, Restyle, will be putting away for my competition because I want to have lots of choice so I can mix and match and change my mind as much as I want. Apart from the two items that I've got being made at the minute by Moon Maiden. Um, if you don't know what that is, she is called Sarah Eddy and her husband Michael do, they do gothic um, outfits and they make to measure. Really, really nice skirts, really gothic, steampunk, vintage, 
um, cosplay. They do everything and it's amazing. So go and check out Moon Maiden if you haven't already. I will link it down below if you're interested in nice outfits being made. The skirts and everything are amazing. Really, really nice. But I won't say anymore because my outfits are coming from there. So this is the dress, guys. I got an XL, I think. Let me check. Oh, I got an XXL. Maybe I was just being cautious and being sure. It does look a bit big, but um, I don't know. It's not too bad. So guys, this is what it looks like. Um, it might be all right, actually, guys, because I've got big boobs and it may just pull it in with having the breast area. So guys, let's talk about what we see. So. It has this open chest part here, which I really, really do like. I like that bit. I like this leatherette with the um, hoop going through. The zip obviously is covered up. I think it's a, yeah, it's a, a band. I've got a lovely choker that will match this, which I'm happy about. Obviously it's in tartan. And then the zip goes all the way down, but this opens up guys. How good is that? So it opens up and then that goes through there. I don't think I've seen anybody buy this yet on, on everything that I watch, alternative. I don't think anyone's, I've seen anybody with this. I'd say, um, Kirsty, Simply Spooky, this kind of dress that she'd probably like, actually. So it press studs in there, guys. So they all press stud in, the zip goes all the way down so it'll open up. And then at the back, guys, which is beautiful as well, is it's all bast with this, kind of fall leather kind of cut in the middle with this normal lace you could change this guys just for example you could pull this out and put a purple lace in there that's something that i would probably do to be honest with you guys but i do like the black because it kind of breaks it up but i probably would like a purple lace in there you'd have to get a fairly long lace guys to be honest with you not thinking about that uh, and it's this kind of Elastane, it's stretchy, it does stretch out. Let me see if it says anything on the ticket. No, it just says tartan. Let me see. No, so it doesn't say anything about the material. Let me see if there's a, a little label. Here we are, Killstar. So it says 98% cotton, 2% elastane. It says hand wash cold, do not trumble dry, do not dry clean, iron on reverse, wash with similar colours of the garments, I must tell my husband that because I'll stick this in with Zach's white t-shirts. Hang to dry, removing excess water. Now, I have a maiden, I know I've got a dryer, but we're not using the dryer now, we're using the maiden, it seems to be working. We've got one of them heaters that dries the clothes quicker. Um, but yeah, wash hand, hand wash on the guys. So that's that guys, I paid 14 pound 96 for this guy. So I used my, my last of my, Cards and what have you. I got free postage because I used my honey card. I do love my honey card. And that is it, guys. That is it. So hope you like this. Stay to the end. I'll go and try this on. Um, see what it looks like. And um, I don't think I'll be doing lots any more kill style. I do have a restyle that I want to plan to do. So I'll probably get that done very very soon. Um, but hauls are going to be less and few on my channel now, guys. Just because you know i don't have to keep telling you and um yeah Save yourself don't forget to subscribe do what it says at the bottom and um i'll see you on the next one bye for now okay guys so the dress is a little bit big but it's probably best being a little bit big than a little bit too small they did have um large and XL and XXL and obviously I've gone for XXL just thinking it might be too small but in actual fact it does fit it's just a little bit baggy at the back I can feel it like 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 this bit here is just way too big um but I wouldn't want it too tight either guys but I actually really like it my husband's actually just said move that way guys so watch your over it my husband's actually just said it is really really nice on you I like the colour, I like the style. I probably would wear this with tights, guys, although I've got nothing wrong with my legs. I just probably would wear it with tights. I do love the whole effect. I put my own choker on it. I mean, ring, ring, is it too many rings? I don't know. Probably pop a comment on below and tell me if it's too many rings. Or I've got a lace one. Um, I've got so many different chokers, it's unreal. But um, 
I do like this. I mean, I don't know if it'd be better having some kind of like drop pendant here. It is very, very big, but it makes my boobs feel small, if that makes sense. And that's not a bad thing. Usually I feel like my boobs are just too big for the dress, but now it feels like the dress is actually too big for the boobs. But I love it. And if you have a look at the back, guys, I like the open design here. I mean, I don't know if you can see my tattoo. Yes, you can. Open to the element. Not the best tattoo, guys. It was my very, very, very first tattoo I ever had done. Um, Cameron, which is what says underneath, which is my eldest son, um, lad, I had that tattooed in Kavos. <laughs> very, very drunk Kavos. But yeah, I love it, guys. It's very roomy. It's very elasticated as well. So even if this would have been an XL, I would have still fitted in an XL without a doubt. I probably would have still fitted in a large, but it would have been clingy. And this just does not cling to any of the lumps and bumps, and that's why I absolutely love it. And for what I paid, which is £14.98, and then I got my reduction and everything, it was hardly anything. And I love it. A, a kind of a bargain dress from Killstar. And it's not like on the clearance section. It was um, for sale, but it wasn't on the clearance section. I just love it. I love everything about it. I really do. I love this whole effect here. Now, guys, I actually put this over my head. Um, I didn't undo all this and do it that way, too time-consuming. I actually just put it over my head and put it on that way. Because it's got loads of room in it, you could do that. And I just love the length of it as well. It's not too short and it's not too long. It just sits right above the knee, which is what I like. There you go, guys. Kill star dress. Um, I've left a label in there. I forgot what the name of it is. But um, have a look, guys. They did have all the sizes. So they had small, medium, large, XL, XXL, whatever it is, 2XL. So they had all the sizes available. I'm not too sure why nobody's grabbed this dress. It's really, really nice. And the sleeves are like a nice size, nice size sleeve as well. I mean, sometimes I like my sleeves like up here. But um, the fact that it's here, it's probably because it is actually a little bit bigger on me. I think a smaller one would have probably been the sleeves a little bit further up. But yeah, I like it. I can't actually see what it looks like on, guys. I'm just looking in the reflection of the door. But um, there you go. Kill star. End of. And I put on my Sinister Demonia shoes with it. What would I wear shoe-wise is a very kind of... Mm, I could actually wear my New Rocks with these. I could wear my other... Demonias with these. Um, I could wear my big clobby shoes that I got from eBay. There's so many things. I'm going to be kitting them up, guys, by the way. It's part of the um, gothic DIY. Um, yeah, so there you go. Ta da! Tell me what you think. Yes, no. Purple's my colour. I love purple. I, I've got a lot of clothes that are in black, in red, and in purple. Gotta be done. Alright, guys, take care of yourself. And I'll see you on the next one, whatever that may be.